Hello everyone and welcome back to our series on creating Jarvis virtual assistant using Python. I hope you all have been enjoying the journey so far. In our last three videos, we covered the basic of creating a simple Jarvis code. But from this video, we are taking things up to a notch and diving into the advanced coding technique to make our Jarvis even more advanced. So sit back, relax and let's get started. Okay, so this was the code that we have done previously and our first step is to create or make our job is to open or close any program application in our computer okay so to do that we're going to need a module called PyRTGUI. so click on new terminal go on chrome and search for PyRTGUI, and then go to the file go to this link and basically it will automate your mouse or a keyboard using some programming code uh, where you can read the project description over here okay, you can see programming tally control the mouse and keyboard okay go on the terminal and paste the code hit the enter okay so now it has been downloaded after that let me import after that uh, what i'm going to do is just creating a new elif statement where the user uh, like when the user say open like open chrome uh, something in command then what we're going to do is just replace the open okay suppose if the user say open chrome then we are going to remove that open and make chrome only okay to do that we'll write command equals command dot replace what we're going to replace open with imt string so in this code we're going to use three pi category function which is press typewrite and sleep press is used to press any type of button suppose if i write pi category dot press and then if i write f1 then it's going to press the f1 key when i write f then it's going to press the f key okay so this is a function of press and whenever i write Pyotogui dot typewrite, which is a function where suppose I write hello and this code will be okay. So suppose I write hello and just look at my cursor, okay? So here is my cursor. Look at my cursor. Good afternoon, sir. Open. Okay, you can see hello has been written over here, okay, by the Jarvis. So typewrite is used to write anything that you pass in this parameter. Okay, so after that we have pyotogui dot sleep, which is used to make our uh, like pyotogui to sleep. Suppose if I write one second, then it will sleep for one second. After okay, so now let me tell you what's the logic. I want whenever the user say or talk, open Chrome. Then it will remove the open which we have uh, written over here and then it should click on this window icon over here and then search for the open chrome then it will uh, and then it will remove the open and it will write for chrome over here and then hit the enter to open the chrome okay i hope you got the got the point so after that what we're going to do is just in the press we're going to write the name so this window or button is also called super so let me write super and inside the typewrite we are going to write command command okay so after that we are going to make it to sleep for one second and then we're going to write pi autogui dot press and enter after that it will press the enter and then we're going to make it to talk opening and let's concatenate it with the command again okay, now let's run it good afternoon sir open chrome opening chrome okay so you can see it's opening but i want it to close the program when i say close okay so to do that what i'm going to do is just create another elif statement over here so let's delete this at first and here i'll write elif when the user say close in command 
then what we are going to do is this uh, there is a function called pyotogui dot hotkey which is used to press two keys at one uh, at a time okay so to close the program we need to write alt uh, we need to press alt plus f4 so to do that so simply write this and it's going to press alt plus f4 at a time and then we're going to write that pi oh sorry we're going to make it to talk uh closing sir okay so now let's see good afternoon sir open chrome opening chrome close closing sir okay you can see now it's working so what if i do what if i paste this over here okay so now it's working after that what we're going to do is just now we are going to make something like whenever you say who is ronaldo or who is uh any celebrity's name then it will say something about that celebrity okay some biography to do that we're going to use a module called wikipedia so you can search wikipedia in this website and you will see this Wiki, uh, Wikipedia 1.4.0 copy this and download it in your terminal so after now it will download the Wikipedia then what we're going to do is just import Wikipedia with Wikipedia so after that we're going to set up a new elif condition elif uh what we're going to do is who each in command then we're going to uh create a variable person equals command dot replace we're going to replace what we're going to replace who is with who is with a empty string so that it will uh, remove that who is and then we'll get the name of the person after that we will create a variable info equals wikipedia dot summary and inside the bracket we will write person which is the name of the person and how much paragraph we want so let me write one and after that hit the enter and we're going to print the info plus we're going to talk info so let's run and ask good afternoon sir who is donald trump donald john trump born june 14 1946 is an american politician media personality and businessman who served as the 45th president of the united states from 2017 to 2021 so you can see it's working now so what i'm going to do is just i want to make it a little bit more so i'll write two and after that we have completed who is also so now we're going to do a huge thing called remembering making our job is to remember things okay so to do that what we're going to do is just uh create another elif elif and here we will write remember uh, remember only okay so after that also we need to write remember that also in command in command then what we're going to do is we're going to create a variable remember remember message equals command dot replace with let me copy this we need to write as like we need to write same to same with a empty empty string okay after that uh what we're going to do is just make it to talk make it to talk you told me to remember 
that and we will concatenate it with the remember message and then uh, what we are going to do is just creating a new remember file okay so create remember.txt file which is a txt file and then here we are going to do like um, remember remember equals open we will write the file name remember wait remember dot txt and we will give a comma so we're going to write a so after that we will write remember wait remember uh, dot write remember message and then what we're going to do is remember uh, dot clothes so let's run it good afternoon sir remember that i have to attend my online class you told me to remember that i have to attend my online class it's so not working let's go in dream okay you can see i have to attend my online class has been written over here okay so now i want my jarvis to tell me suppose uh whenever i say what do you remember okay so then it should say like you told me to remember this uh, and so to do that uh let's write elif and here we'll write what do you what do you remember in command then what we're going to do is remember equals uh, we are going to do like open remember dot txt in comma we will write r which is used to read it and then we will make it to talk uh, you you told me to remember and we will write plus and we are going to make remember dot read which is a function to read the file so let's see good afternoon sir remember that i have to attend my online class you told me to remember that i have to attend my online class what do you remember hi boss how are you what do you remember hi boss how are you okay so there is in con okay so i need to remove this yo instead of yo i can write hi so now whenever i say good afternoon sir remember that you are made by a genius person you told me to remember that you are made by a genius person what do you remember you told me to remember i have to attend my online class i have to attend my online class you are made by a genius person yes so it is reading this whole thing so that's much for the today's video let me delete this unnecessary stuff and that was the beginning part now in the coming videos we're going to do some more advanced uh tags uh by using our jarvis and we're in the next video we're going to make it to remove the thing that our jarvis remember okay so i'll see you in the next video till then take care bye bye